Hey everybody, welcome once again to the Exoxite Tech Chronicles. Today we're going to show you how to install a power supply on our stock PC here. For this demonstration, we'll be removing our stock PSU and replacing it with our Logisys 550 watt Black Beauty power supply. Start off by removing the side of the case. Inside, you'll need to unplug all connectors running from your power supply, including the ones on the motherboard, fan, hard drive, and CD drive. Before going forward, carefully mark these cables by taking a pen or magic marker and writing down the component name each cable was connected to on a piece of tape. After removing each cable, wrap the tape with a component name around it so you won't forget where each specific cable goes later. That's very important. Alright, if you can lift the entire grouping of cables up from the case, you know you got them all. Once all the cables are removed and the components are clearly marked, start unscrewing the power supply from the back of the PC. The power supply generally uses a four point screw setup, so be sure to remove only those. After the screws are out, the power supply should easily snap out of place. Now slowly remove the old PSU out of the case and set it aside. Okay, before you officially install your new power supply, we highly recommend testing it first. To test your power supply without using the motherboard, simply take a nearby paper clip, twist it, and insert it into the 24 pin connector. To trigger a source, insert one end into a green wire connector pin, and the other into any of the black. Okay, plug in the power cable, and then plug in one of the components like this LED fan. After that, fire it on to ensure it's running properly and sending off the necessary power to the component. Oh, and if anyone out there is concerned that a trick like this could damage the unit or themselves, don't worry. Exoxide also offers a digital power supply tester that will get the same results risk-free. Once the test is complete, now you can carefully place your new PSU into position. Start by lining up your new power supply in the same direction as the original and screw it in. Now take a look at the cables you labeled from your old PSU and match up your new cables to their corresponding components. For this install we had a little bit of an issue in the cable length for one of the connectors running to the CD drive so we had to do a little improv. Moving the drive itself from the top bay to the bottom. This allowed us just enough space for the cable length. And if you find yourself running into a similar position and don't have the room to spare, remember Exoxite offers a variety of wire extensions and splitters for all types of cables. Now once you've finished connecting your components, there are several ways to manage the excess cables inside your case. For us, we simply used our empty bay area and hid the excess wires in there for a cleaner aesthetic. Now close the side door and fire on your PSU. Don't forget to switch your power supply into the on position before turning on the PC itself. Alright, well that covers it. If you have any additional questions, feel free to hit us up in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, good luck modding your case!